all right so in the last video we left here and now let's continue designing text field so let me go inside container child then i'll write column and children and here i will add all the content so first what i'll do i'll add text field text form field and here you can give some styling as well so let me just give decoration so it has input decoration and let me just run the app and see as you can see we got the text field here now let's just give some decoration here border so input border uh, actually we are going to use outline input border so we can use that and then border radius so border radius dot circular it will be a five say and yeah we got the border here let's just add some padding for this so h inset dot symmetry horizontal 20 i think vertical 10 say yeah so it look better now uh, let me just make this constant and now what do we need we also have all this parameter here let's just come back here all right and hint text we will give it enter uh, title okay as you can see we got the title here and now what we'll do we'll just copy the same thing for description as well let me just copy this and give some size box with a height say 30 ish i think and put it here make this constant and here you can give max length and all so let me just write max length 255 and a min line you can give seven i guess then max line is eight i guess let's just run and see yeah so we got the description as well if you come back to ui so it look more or less similar right okay so this is what we have now let's just try to get this text and save into database for now okay all right then we for that we will need to add controller for this if you remember in the last video we have added this to controller we will have to use it now so yeah so for the title i'm going to use controller and then title or right, editing controller and same thing for the description controller description uh, editing controller all right now we can give some title and description and when you click on the save icon which is inside here and where is saved icon yeah here so what we'll do we'll try to save it so let me call save in db or something like that save to db okay save to db sounds good actually save to db all right we can call this function and yeah so we have a database instance already i believe wait i think it's app database yeah app database dot now we have only one function which is get not this but we are not going to use this one if you go back here we will create one more function similar to this so what we are going to do it will be a future of int all right and then you can write something like insert uh, not okay and here you can pass not campaign okay not campaign and then come here then you can write uh, return okay await then insert not insert oh, hold on hold on so let me just make this a sync first then i think it's into yeah into then table name which is not then dot insert then you will have to pass this not campaign all right so this is how you insert new record in the table so insert new uh, notes in derby okay so now you can call this function from here so all right so here we have to pass parameters so it will be a not campaign here and again we don't have any id so we just need to provide title so let me just try to give title so it will be a uh, value value of and then here we can pass title editing controller dot text okay and you can import this from drift actually yeah drift but i think for some reason we are getting error somewhere else which is a column it seems like a uh, column is defined in two package so we can't use it this way so let me just change it to dr 
and then here i will use dr dot all right so we got the title here then we just put description as well and this will be our description controller all right and then we also have a color so dr dot value and it will be a one for now we don't have anything so let me just keep it one and priority also one all right so what happens when we click on this oops let in lesson that is fine let me just run let me run the app again all right so issue should be fixed by now yeah so now when you click on the save uh, icon so we'll go to save and we'll try to save this and we'll call insert node we'll pass this we'll insert this and we'll return this all right so then now here you can call one more function call dot then once it is insert what do you want to do you can do it here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pop this so navigator dot pop all right and it context will be a uh, true i guess yeah all right so come back here yeah i think it's fine so when we once it is saved we are just closing this uh, and then we are sending one more parameter called true and if not list page here we can get that value here so let's just uh call var result equal to await okay and we also need to add async and uh, we don't need this let's delete this and here you can check uh, if res not equal to null and rest uh, equal to equal to true since we are sending true then we can just you know call set state to you know refresh the state all right so let me just save this okay now if i go back now right now you can see no notes list right now i'm going to add one notes here so let's just say test title and some description here all right so if i save it you can see i'm going back to this previous screen but we are seeing empty screen that is because now we have a not list from the database so if you come here here we are checking whether it is empty or not if it's not empty then we are calling this which is for now it is empty right so uh, here you can give child like for now we can say not exist all right so as you can see now we have a not exist which should be in the center yeah so we can see not exist now in the next video we'll start designing uh notes here for this uh, in the list view that is uh and this ui we will start designing this ui in the next video all right guys thank you